Here we go. I hit this. It's a little too far to the and plug in the battery, which is there. There's the battery. And now it's time to say hello and welcome to a live impromptu bowling session from the world's easiest candle pin house, Masons, Lamonster, Massachusetts. And for those of you know who made that know Masons, we know how easy this place really is. And someone said, hello, Simon, back to Masons. You know what happens, exactly. And what's worse is we're given lane eight, or as I call it, lane hate. Because this lane hates me and I hate it, in spite of having a pin setter that, af that favors a right-hander. Because it's ever so slightly exposing the right side pocket. We know this lane doesn't really yields good results, so it'll be interesting to see. And I have a recovering from a groin pull on my left side, which is my trailing leg, which shouldn't really be a factor. Last week there was no bowling because I was getting ready to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Real Tough, but the anniversary date, unfortunately, fell upon a lot of parties, so nobody showed up. So that's rescheduled for the 30th, so I'm going to safely say there probably won't be any bowling then. Anyway, that being said, the stream goes for the entire sheet, unless something goes wrong or if the conditions don't allow it, like Putnam's the last time that I did a live thing there, not the tournament. That being said, uh, let's see how badly things go, because I haven't really done much today. Double wood, neither would have helped. Start with nine. There we go, now we have to start sucking. That's a six. That's a seven.
Can't say that's a welcome to Mason's moment. That's just screw. Now for the halftime report. The six and the seven are abysmal, but everything else are nines and we are at 40. Average ability is, in, is 90 according to ICB standards of casual league players. Speaking of scoring, high single 139, not done here. Low of 44, was done here. My high here, no idea how I got it, 121. So with that being said, a couple of things. If I can, it's not always possible. I try to respond to every comment. If they are, if I'm not, it, it, this is known to not show every comment that comes along the way. So I'm not intentionally ignoring you if you send something and I don't respond. Some of them I just can't. Most of them they don't show up because when I do the replay, like half the comments that show up in the live stream don't really show up on the phone. Second half. For Sam Sitar, a helicopter pin that leaves us the four horsemen on the left with some favorable wood for a spare. Who knows? That, we can say, welcome to Masons. Eight maintains. Nines, tens, and marks make things better. that one up. There's another welcome to Mason's shot. That's a three, six, only a four. So this game's junk. It's not going to help from that four.
Nice recovery for a nine. Need better than that. We need a mark or else we will not hit bottom of average. Looks like this is mediocrity. That's a six. This is also proof showing you I never got better at this game. And a lousy 75 to start with. Mediocre. Having him great collapse. Well, it usually happens after a good game. Well, this is my worst lane, so it's probably a collapse as a whole. Game number two. See if they if they didn't have sandpaper on the decks, that would have flown into the pins on the left. Starting with eight. Just like the first ball in the first game, we are left with a new palace right. And it also looks like we have some wood. Now the guy that's bowling is also running the show and he lets me do this myself. So let's take a field trip. Unless he's taking it. Uh, no, he's giving, me the he's giving me the green light. He knows I don't do stupid things. That line right there is the Deadwood line. If that pin is touching or is over it, it's so good. So we don't interfere with that. We're going to take it with us and then bring it back later. Twenty thirteen uh, sort of redid the lanes. One thing I never noticed, this wall doesn't, and this thing freaking died.